Here's California Congressman Eric Swalwell. He is a really, really, uh, he's just an idiot. He, he, he's an idiot, he's a bad dude. He's one of these people that calls everyone racist. Uh, he also 100% for sure was sleeping with a Chinese spy. Uh, when I had Kevin McCarthy, the GOP leader on the show, he laid out all of the details. You can find the video. Maybe we'll play it in the next day or two if something else with Swalwell pops up. But so Eric Swalwell, who has slept with a Chinese spy, a Chinese spy who then helped staff his office. And then he got on intelligence committees. I mean, it's crazy stuff. Um, he's one of the absolute worst on the Democrat side. Uh, he put up this ad on abortion. And it's, it's, I'm actually sorry that I have to show it to you, but here we go. Mary Anderson? Yes? I have a warrant for your arrest. Arrest for what? Penal code 243 violation. Unlawful termination of a pregnancy. You gotta be kidding me. That, that is my personal business. That's for the courts to decide, ma'am. Your medical records have been subpoenaed and Dr. Landry's already in custody. No, my, my God, you, you, you can't just- and You will have to submit to a physical examination. What? By who? No, no, no one's touching me. Sure. Get to that. Man, turn around. Oh my God. Put oh your my hands God. behind your back. Now. Why is this happening? Love you, honey bear. We're just enforcing the law here. Elections have consequences. Vote Democrat on November 8th. Stop Republicans from criminalizing abortion everywhere protect women's rights and freedom. Please, don't do this. Please. Eric Swalwell, you are an extraordinary piece of shit. Like, what else? How can I analyze this anymore? Now media is going to write a thing. Dave Rubin called Swalwell a piece of shit. Swalwell, by the way, who farted live on MSNBC. Remember that one? ...that the president used taxpayer dollars to ask the Ukrainians to help him cheat an election. Uh, Chris Matthews, then they pretended it was a coffee cup moving on the desk. Um, you see what I'm saying about this thing where all they have is fear? That, that is a bad dystopian science fiction movie he just made right there. Um, all they have is fear. Do you know that virtually every single, even the most, ex I don't like the word extreme related to this, but even the most pro-life politicians in America uh, have certain caveats for abortion in the case of rape or incest, et cetera, et cetera. Places like Florida, I keep saying this, which is thought of as now this radical right-wing, freedom-loving, very scary place, has 15 weeks on abortion. That is the moderate position that Senator Rubio, who voted for it, is, he personally in his life is pro-life. Our governor, Ron DeSantis, he personally is pro-life. But Florida, as a red state, has made a compromise at 15 weeks. 15 weeks, again, which is three and a half months, okay? We're well past heartbeat. We're past organs being developed and all of those things. And then, you know, they're also trying to do things like have these pregnancy centers where women could come in and say, you know, I'm really struggling with this. I don't have the, the family to back me up and help me out. I don't have the finances. Um, so then there are these pregnancy centers where they try to help people so that they could then give them up for adoption or figure out other ways that they could maybe get some donations, et cetera, et cetera. And then what happens? The Democrats, Elizabeth Warren, we've shown you the video, they call this evil. 